bar tack machine. It does belt loops and stuff on the back pockets. So it's just a little tack stick. Cuts it and everything for you. So this is a serger. It takes off the edge, cleans it up, and then it makes it so the fabric doesn't unwind. You would take the jean that's almost done without the waistband and you would feed it in right through here. And it puts on a waistband. Usually this is where we would do our buttons and rivets. Put the button in and use the rivet. And that's why we're actually going on Kickstarter is because we need little pieces like this. So right now we actually do them all by hand. Push the back side through. Get the button on there. Straighten it up, and you flip it over. It says setting tool. Hold. You get it in the right place, and then you secure it in so it won't move. And we do the same thing with our rivets. And our rivets have little F and L logos on them as well. So this is our buttonhole machine. It's a 1960s Reese 101, AKA the Bulldog. This little guy, oops, I'm gonna have to do it this way. In addition to needing new machines, we need to meet the minimum quantity of, of manufacturers for buttons and rivets. Um, normally they are a thousand minimum, but they've now raised it to five thousand minimum. Uh, so we need money and backing in order to do that. Um, we're going to be doing a Kickstarter campaign starting on September 17th to raise that money in order to purchase the new denim and those new buttons and rivets to meet the manufacturer's minimums. It's all about making one-of-a-kind, unique jeans here in Wichita.